We got my dog right here. Hello, my name is Payton. I'm Fairbanks with Cornerstone Real Estate. Today we're going to be going over just some of the market stats for the state of Utah. We're going to be using July stats because there's a complete, no reason to use August stats. We don't have all of them, but a couple of the quick things up front. If you want to just get some basic stats out of the way, median sold value for the state of Utah is $510,000, which is the same it's been for the last two months or for June and May. On top of that, median list of sold values at 97%, showing unrealistic expectations from sellers. Interest rates were at 6 point, ooh, 6.85% was the average for the month of July, which is showing a trend downwards, but basically it doesn't matter. And then on top of that, I had another one, median days on markets up to 30. So we've seen two months of increases for that. <laughs> but other than that, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on this stuff, do some more paid and blabberings on all of it, go in depth and kind of show you the screen that I'm seeing on all, all of them. I said in depth twice, and you just got to deal with that. Other than that, hope you're having a great day. Let's talk about it. I know what you're wanting to look at. You want to look at that. You want to look at my little Excel sheet. Uh, why am I blabbering about that so much? I don't know, but let's just get right on into it. Median sold value is $510,000. Let me zoom in on that for you. Definitely can. So $510,000. So you can see original list was at five hundred twenty-five. dollars sold is at $510,000. It's the same amount that we've seen in June of 2024 and May of 2024. And it was surprising because we got above that $500,000 threshold, and then all of a sudden we've got three months of not being able to go past it, not even be able to get close to the highest point that we had was once once again was June or, or May of 2022 at $540,000. So interesting to see, but home values have officially stopped going up and there's a three month trend showing that. Is that going to keep happening? I don't have any idea. But original list value, we can actually see that people's expectations for the amount that their home is going to sell for has become more and more unrealistic. I assume that everybody's super positive about the market. They think everything's going super well. And so they're like, well, obviously, everybody's going to keep freaking out and buying our houses for more money. Another piece of it is the real estate agents and everybody's blabbering, being like, hey, look, obviously, interest rates are going to go down. Everybody's going to freak out. And we are going to have a huge influx of buyers. I, I want to go after that now real quick. So the old Rona Babona virus, we can see that in July of 2024, there was 3,368 homes that sold. So demand is, you know, fairly high or whatever. It looks like a little bit more than sold than what was in June and stuff like that. If you want to compare the coronavirus, if you're if you're like, those, that's back where we're going, in July of 2021, 4,665 homes sold. If we want to do those calculations real quick, I did all my calculations. I just flipped it. I did 4,665 divided by 3,306. So effectively, we'd have to see demand increase by 41%. And you're like, well, obviously that's going to happen, Peyton, when interest rates go low. Interest rates were at 3%. So let's say interest rates go down to 5.5%. That's almost double what they were at that time. I'm not saying demand's not going to increase. I could do a whole, I, maybe I should. I should do a whole video explaining, you know, the different levels of demand and probably what's causing them to occur. But in this scenario, if interest rates decrease, demand is going to go up absolutely. But anybody telling you that it's going to increase and be the same that it was in 2021 is an idiot. I, I shouldn't say it that way. I don't mean to be so aggressive because I, I don't know what the future is. That's why I'm so hesitant to say that in real estate's going to, that's why I'm so hesitant to be like, prices are going to go up or down by a look at the stats. And statistically, it's very unlikely we're going to see demand increase by 41%, even if interest rates go down to 5.5% this year. So there you go. There's my little two cents on it. But seller's expectations of sale price is slightly unrealistic. That light keeps turning off. I don't know why it does. I need to get a new one. This is something that's going to show, this does show that there's a huge chance that it, prices are going to decrease at some point. Because once you start getting sellers that have unrealistic expectations, at some point they start lowering prices. Is that for sure going to happen? I don't know, but I like seeing that because it shows that maybe there's going to be some deals in the future. Although if next month it goes back up to 98%, then I'm just wrong. Uh, the amount of, oh, we're not going to worry about that light. 
Uh, over here, you can see the amount of homes listed were 4,960, which was a little bit less than the month before at 5,180. You're wanting to look at all these stats purely from percentages and everything like that. You can see that the amount of homes listed supply increased by 3% year over year and decreased month over month by about 10%. So we're still seeing homes sold increasing by 7% year over year and increasing by 2% month over month. Well, this is interesting to see. So if homes listed, if this number keeps going down quicker than this number increases, at some point, it's going to make the home prices go up. So we're getting a little bit of contradictory kind of stuff going on over here. I wouldn't be surprised if prices go up or down this year. I just don't think they're going to be substantial. That You know what? That's my statement. That's my that's my speculation, let's say. And the median sold value year over year is up 4%. Year to date is up 2%. And the month over month up 0%. 510 to $510,000. Uh, so there you go. Those are the basic stats and all of it. Uh, comment down below. What do you think is going to happen with home values in the state of Utah? And why do you think that? I typically do want to do a longer video, but I think this at least gives you an idea of where the market's at, kind of what's going on. So comment down below or text or message me if you're looking to buy a house, let me know. Other than that, have a great day. Bye.